Alright everybody, how is it going? It is yours truly, and I'm going to be doing a brand new overview of Project 64. It seems like a lot of people have a lot of questions about, you know, really simple basic stuff. And here's the deal, it's really difficult to help people and to guide them when I don't know what your operating system is. I don't know what controller you're using. Uh, you know, there, there's just a lot of things I do not know. And that's problematic because I need to know what it is that you're doing, what it is that you have in order for me to diagnose your problem. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay out some really basic stuff for you. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this video short and sweet because there's just no need to prolong it. So uh, getting started with Project 64 is incredibly easy. And I went back and I saw the videos that I made and why there was such confusion. And it really had to do with the controller plugin. So um, I'm going to show you, a, I'm going to go ahead and link in the description where to get Project 64. So this is an emulator. So if you want to play Nintendo 64 games, an emulator is, ex is essentially a Nintendo 64 console on your computer and it's completely free. I've been using this for years and years and years. Uh, you know, you're just going to go click here and this is going to be the latest version. You're going to save it and you're going to install it like any other program. Uh, so this is version 2.3.2 uh, 2 and of course I am on 2.3.2. Uh, this is the latest version. So when you go to uh, controller plugin, you know before you start playing your game, you definitely want to set up your controllers. So right now I only have um, controller one in because I'm by myself. But usually I have all these checked off because I play online with friends. And I did an awesome video um, about that. Um, Parsec is what you want to use to play online with other people. But for now, let's just keep this simple. So we're going to go ahead and click on uh, options and settings, and then we're going to go to plugins. So plugins are how this uh, software functions. So there is a video plugin. Well, the video is, you know, what you see, obviously. And uh, depending on the plugin you have, you're going to get different uh, options when you're trying to configure the quality of, you know, the, the, the video, the, you know, the graphics and whatnot. Audio, same thing. Um, the audio is usually perfect all the time. It's really nothing to worry about. Now, input control. Okay, so this is where the, the confusion came in. People were like, oh, I don't see what you see, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so um, you click here. This is what I would recommend using, NRAGE's direct input. Now, uh, in the past, I did some videos where I show you how to get uh, netplay to work without parsec and everything just worked from the emulator but it's kind of wonky it's really difficult to do you got to port forward a bunch of stuff and it just doesn't who's got time for that just use parsec it's a great video I made a video about that um, I'm gonna link in the description but for now Enrage's direct input should work now I don't know what controller you're gonna be using I don't know what what uh, what, what operating system you have so if Enrage's direct input doesn't work then use the other one now here's something that I would recommend if you're using an Xbox 360 controller a PS3 or a PS4 controller Xbox one controller have your controllers turn Turned on before you start the emulator. That's probably why it's not showing up. It's really, really important to do. However, I already have the emulator up, and I'm going to show you. I'm, I'm on Windows 10, uh, and, and it's going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and apply. So I'm going to use Enrage's Direct Input uh, plugin. So that plugin, whoops. Uh, now I go to configure controller plugin. See right here at the top, Enrage's DI18. That's the plugin that I'm using. That's that's all it means, guys. Uh, so, uh, oh, hold on, give me one second. Let me go ahead and cancel this really quick. So right now, did you hear that sound? I just turned on my Xbox 360 for PC controller. Uh, let's go ahead and go to configure controller. Uh, or yeah, configure controller plugin. Go to assign keys. Now, see, I have my generic USB controller plugged in. That's my retro link. Uh, N64 controller, and then of course I have my Xbox 360 wireless uh, for Windows uh, controller, uh, also that I can select from. But I like the RetroLink controller. Of course, it's going to show up as generic USB. So I always recommend having one controller plugged in instead of multiple controllers, especially if you're by yourself. Uh, if you have multiple people with you, well, it's just trial and error. Uh, it's really, it's really straightforward. It's not that difficult. So. Uh, I already have my, uh, what's it called, my my settings set. So if I go to load my settings, I am going to use uh, N64 controller. Okay, uh, let's just go ahead and apply. Um, but if you're, if you're curious, if you're going to be, uh, you know, changing things, so the D-pad, that's a little uh, cross. You know, this is pretty straightforward. It's up, click here, left 
right down and then once you're done setting up all these buttons for your controller you can go ahead and save the profile and name it whatever you want since i already saved it already i just named it n64 controller it's like okay well i'm only going to use the n64 controller for one emulator apply done uh, and it's really that simple now let's just go ahead i'm going to go ahead and show you the graphics plugin so if you want to configure the graphics i showed you uh what the name of that plugin was and then of course you can change you know the resolution uh, when you're full screen or when you're windowed, uh, you know, you just, you got a lot of options here. Um, you know, if you're having an issue with one of your, your, uh, games and it's not running so well and you're trying to do everything you can, well, change the, the video plugin, you know, like I showed you, you go to options, you go to settings, you click on plugins down here and then you go to a video graphics plugin, you know, pick one, uh, pick one. It doesn't matter. Uh, the, the, here's, here's a fact though. Sometimes some ROMs are just not going to be good. They're not going to work that well. And there's really nothing anybody can do about it. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and open up, uh, if you want to open up a game, let's just go ahead and where's Diddy Kong racing. I just, I know it here it is. <laughs> All right. So if you want to go to full screen, hold alt and then enter. All right, so I have my uh, generic USB controller. Uh, that's what I'm using right now. And it's a, it, it's essentially an N64 controller. I'm going to throw up an image of what it looks like right there. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know who I like. The fuck? I guess it doesn't matter. I'm going to be Conker. Let's go ahead and put my name. Uh, I guess I can't skip this, but uh, you get the point. Uh, the game is working really, really well. It's not stuttering. The audio is pretty good. Uh, you're going to get some weird graphical issues here and there. And like I said, if it's really that problematic, you can always uh, change the video plugin, and I know online there are uh, there are other video plugins that you can download and uh, use, just like the you know the AACQZ uh, controller plugin or whatever it's called. That wasn't initially a part of this uh, ROM package or this emulator. I, that was a third-party thing, just so I can get Netplay to work, which of course is not entirely necessary. God, I can't skip this. It's driving me fucking crazy. I am the genie of the island. <laughs> Do you know the way? <laughs> His voice fucking reminded me of that. Oh, it's fucking great. Alright, let's see if I can remember how to play. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, goodness. Let's go here to Ancient Lake, because why not? Yeah, so if you're at a point in the game where you're happy with your progress and you want to revisit it, so I'm going to go ahead and just hit Escape. And then if I go to... System... Save State. So saving a state essentially means you're going to save the exact location where you're at. Uh, as it pertains to a game. So right now I'm playing Diddy Kong Racing. So if I open up Diddy Kong Racing and I load a state, I'm going to load what I saved. So I'm going to go ahead and save. Okay. Oh, I wonder what happens if I hit load. Okay, nothing I suppose. Okay. So, uh, you know, you just save your progress and you can load it if you fuck up. Yeah, so I'm using the Xbox 360 controller, guys. It's just... Alright. Oh, fuck me. I didn't want to use that. Okay, sweet. This is a juicy power up. 
damn so good at this game. Oh, fucking dinosaurs. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, thought I had that. Alright, we're gonna win this game, guys. We're gonna beat this shit. Alright. So you get the point. It's gonna go ahead and... And then of course I can pause it, I can reset it, I can do all sorts of crazy stuff here. Alright, so that's really just what I wanted to show you guys, just give you a quick overview of uh, Project 64, the ins and outs. Uh, it, like I said, this is a really simple program. Uh, I apologize if I confused people in the past, but long story short, if you go to Options, Settings, and you go to plugins. This is where you can fix a lot of your problems. I know uh, I, I told people to use this AQZ Netplay plugin. I apologize. You don't even have to worry about it. If you want to play online with friends, use Parsec. I have a video on that pretty in depth. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. They're really quick. So, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Peace out.